Why, hello. This is... Who am I, Titus? This is Tyler Tarver, Tarver Academy, and I'm going to show you how to get to Google Classroom. Okay? Um, not too hard. Start a new tab, and then you're going to type in classroom.google.com. If you need more time, you might want to pause this video. Hit enter. Just fun, fun fact for you, you don't have to type in www. Like, your computer knows you're going to like a, a World Wide Web. You're not going to like a SMB or a VNC. You're going there. So don't type in www. It makes it look like you don't know what you're talking about. Okay, now, when you get there, um, your organization has to have a, a Google account, which if they don't, you need to contact your tech person and fix that because they're in the wrong and you should have Google access or else they're insane. And I'm pretty sure it's free to schools now. It used to be like 800 bucks for a lifetime. Um, Titus, can you be quiet on the recording? All right, back to the recording. He is a great kid. I like him the most out of all my sons named Titus. Okay, so we're in here. You want to start using Classroom, you're a student or a teacher. Well, you have to um, you have to have a Google account. Right here, if I was signed into like my personal Gmail account, it would say that I cannot use it. I would have to click over here and sign out of that account and switch to something that is a school account. This happens to be on my Box App Miners account, so we're good to go. I can say I'm a student or a teacher. I'm going to assume you are a teacher right now, and so I'm going to click that. So, boom, teacher. Okay, when you do... You're in here and you I have no classes shared with me. I've created no classes. So I want to create a class. So I go up here to the upper right hand corner. There's a little plus sign. I have to click that little plus sign. I can either join a class or I can create a class. Now if you're a teacher, which I'm going to show you where to get the code, you're going to tell your students to go to join a class. Now teachers can also join classes. Um, I would let you enroll in this class, but I'm pretty sure you have to, as of right now, unless Google changes it, have to be in the same domain. So I can't share it with you because I'm a adbox.miners.org, unless you're an adbox.miners.org as well. Go to create class. I'm going to pick out the class name. Now, um, let's say this is my Google training. Google training class. Um, now, I could say which section it is. It could be fourth period, fifth period, etc. Let's say it's fifth period. Or section five. Um, I can put that there and that'll show up. It's an easy way to delineate which course class you're in. Um, some people like their stuff in alphabetical order. As of right now, Google Classroom will not let you sort manually where you want your classes. So if you want it, you could go five dash Google training so you can make it fifth period so that way they're in order. That's up to you. You got to listen to your heart. Hit create. Boom. You have created a class. Now they've given me a default background and all this jazz. And so let's say I want to um, select a different theme. I can go in here. I can choose, ooh, I like basketball. I can choose that. I can go in and choose whatever I want. So boom, select class theme. Ballin'. Look at that dude. Ballin'. He missed it. There's no doubt about it. But he's doing his best. Okay, welcome to your class. You have started it. Now, if you want students to enroll, whenever they go and create their account, they select that they're a student. And then whenever they go up to that plus sign to join a class, they're going to type this in right here. They have to type it in exactly. It is case sensitive, so they're going to have to type it in. Now, I can disable it. After I get my kids in my class I want, I can disable it so no one else can get in there. Or I can reset it. Like, say I give that out and then I don't want some rando kid from another class enrolling. I can reset it. And the kids can't see this unless I show it to them. So that's it. That's how you start a class. And then you can click over here in the upper left. Go to Classes. And you'll be able to see all the classes that you have created. And that's how you create a classroom in Google Classroom. Thank you very much. Please subscribe. Bye bye. Hey, Tyler here from TarverAcademy.com. You should subscribe and I'll give you an apple. That's not real, but you should subscribe.